Okay, this is the practice collage. Um, the final is going to look something like this, but I'm going to show you how to get some of these outer edges uh, for the requirements for this project. So go ahead and go to practice collage and you are going to view assignment and save these two images. So right click, save your image. I actually already saved it. Right click, save. So those two pictures, then go ahead and go to photo P. Go ahead and do file new. And if you want to name this, you can. You can do practice or whatever, whatever you want. We're going to go ahead and change this to inches. We're going to do 8 by 10, and we're going to make the DPI 200. Now, what I've noticed is when I type in 200, this changes. So you want to make sure that you change this back. And I might need to do inches and then DPI first and then save that for last. Okay, click Create. So we've got our canvas here and we are going to file open in place or drag your pictures onto the canvas. We're just going to start with the flower. So I'm going to do file open in place or again you can drag it. Um, and then wherever your flower picture is, I'm going to find mine. I'll just go ahead and drag it. Okay. If it's super small, go ahead and hold down shift and make it bigger. It doesn't have to fill the whole screen. But I'm gonna show you how to do a cutout shape. You actually already know how to do this, but it's just a reminder. So first thing that we're gonna do is rasterize this layer. So right click and rasterize. And then over here, there is this rectangle select or ellipse select. Go ahead and do the ellipse. Um, don't get this confused with this rectangle tool. So this is different than the select. So go ahead, we're going to do the ellipse select, and then we're going to go ahead and click and drag onto our picture. You decide how much you want, but we're just going to have this oval shape. Okay, so we have our selection made. Now we want to cut out the background. So if you remember, we need to invert it because if I do command X right now, it gets rid of the flower, which is not what we want. We want everything other than the flower to be cut out. So I'm going to go up at the top, select inverse, and now we can do command or control X to cut out the background. Go ahead and do command or control D to deselect to get rid of that dotted line. Otherwise, it's not going to let us move on very easily. Switch to the move tool. You can arrange this however you want. And then we're actually going to give this um, a bevel and emboss outer edge. So if you remember um, to do like a drop shadow and an outer glow, you go to this EFF or effects down at the bottom in the layers. So I have this selected. I'll do instead of these ones, I'm going to do bevel and emboss. So this is just slightly different. I can click and drag this out of the way. And all you need to do is, I mean, if you want to me mess with these, you can, but I, I don't really touch those. But all I do is toggle with all of these, like the depth, the size, how soft you want it. And it gives it that illusion that it's popping out. That's what bevel and emboss is. Um, you can mess with the angle, however you want to do it, opacity, mess with all of these. Once you have it how you want it, go ahead and click OK. So that's one way. And then I'm going to show you another way. So you're going to pull that flower picture onto your canvas again and make it big. Hold down shift, grab from the corner. And then we are actually going to drag that star picture on here as well. So click and drag that. Make sure the star is on top of this layer. So we're looking at this at the top. Go ahead and set your star with your petals like right in the center. Or if you want it slightly off center, it's up to you. But this is the easiest way to do it. Um, then we're going to rasterize both of these layers. So right click, rasterize. And then go ahead and go to the star layer. And we're going to use the magic wand. So the magic wand, just because it's easier, and we're just going to click inside the star. And you can see we have our selection inside. OK, so we're going to turn this layer off. So we still see the star selection. And then we're going to switch to our picture layer. 
and we're going to cut out everything but the star. So if you remember, up at the top, you go select inverse because we want everything cut out except the star. And then we do our command or control X and then command or control D to deselect it. And then we can use the move tool and arrange that. You can make this bigger or smaller if you want to stretch it out. Usually I don't like when people do that, but for this project, it's okay. And then what you're going to do, you choose the effect. If you want to mess with some of these ones that we have not used before, go for it. If you want to just do outer glow or drop shadow, totally up to you. So I might change this and then, okay. All right, so I have it how I want it, click OK. And then the background, since this is just a practice, your final, you're gonna to wanna to have a background color. So I'm just gonna use a gradient. You can do a solid color, it's up to you. And then just click and drag, just for an added extra effect. Go ahead and export this. So export this as a PNG or a JPEG, and you're gonna turn this into practice collage. Now, all of these things you're going to use for the final. So make sure you take a look at all of those requirements for the final.